Hi everyone, it's Mary Garlow and this is Fiona. Hi. And since this is the month of May and in May in the church we dedicate the month to our Blessed Mother Mary, we've put together a special presentation that we want to share with you. And it's um, a little lesson on the life of Mary and also some ideas for how we can celebrate Mary in our homes. So we will get started. Why do we honor Mary? Mary is given many special honors and titles in our Catholic faith. Our Lady Queen of Martyrs is a Marian parish. The word martyr means witness. She is our patron saint. We are witnesses to Jesus Christ and she is our mother. We learn about what it means to live a life of discipleship by reflecting on the life of Mary and the characteristics which we want to imitate. Mary is devoted. From the time she was very young, Mary learned and practiced her faith with her family. She knew of the scriptures that told of God's plan to send his son, the Savior, who would bring healing to the world. Mary listens. The angel Gabriel came to Mary with God's message. It startled her and she was a little confused when the angel explained that God wanted her to be Jesus's mother, but she had led a life that was formed in prayer, so her heart was open to God's call. Mary is focused. After learning she would be the mother of Jesus, Mary knew where she needed to go. She set off on a long journey to spend time with her cousin Elizabeth. There the two women helped each other prepare to become mothers. Mary is courageous. She had a special purpose. God created her and prepared her to bring Jesus into the world. She could have said no, and God would have said okay, but she said yes. We are gr very grateful to Mary for saying yes. She shows us that saying yes to God brings very good things. Mary is strong. She accepted her responsibilities with gratitude. Mary kept Jesus safe and took very good care of him. She didn't have much money and she had to work very hard, but she loved Jesus so much she never complained. Mary is a teacher. One year when Jesus was about 12 years old, he got separated from his family. Mary and Joseph searched for him for three days. They were nervous and so relieved when they found him. They took Jesus home and taught him all he needed to know to live his mission. Through Mary, Jesus learned obedience, perseverance, and how to love everyone, even those who hurt him. Mary can teach us too. Mary is a leader. She shows care and concern for the welfare of others. When Mary and Jesus were at a wedding and the wine ran out, Mary knew the family would be very embarrassed. She encouraged Jesus to help. She knew what he was able to do and gave him the permission he needed so that the problem was solved. Mary is faithful. Mary stayed with Jesus even when it was very, very painful. She presented Jesus presented Mary as the mother of the beloved disciple. Jesus had you in mind. You are the beloved disciple. Mary is queen of heaven and earth. The church honors Mary for bringing us Jesus. We know she will always lead us to Jesus and we can ask her help anytime we want. Honoring Mary at home. The month of May is devoted to honoring Mary as our Blessed Mother. In the church, we often celebrate with a May crowning. This year, let's do this in our homes. So here's an idea. Create a little space in your home in honor of Mary. 
You will need a statue or a picture of Mary. You can even draw a picture. Go outside and collect some little flowers, even some dandelions. Um, and on this picture, I have some little lily of the valleys that I wove together and made a little crown. So try to do the same thing. Or else you can draw a crown in, um, with paper and color it and that would work too. And then if you have a little vase, you can put a little vase by the statue and you could also put a little candle by the statue too. On my altar that I made for Mary on the one we have here, we also put two small bowls. The first we filled with 55 beads. Five of the beads are a little different from the rest of the 50. Um, each day during the month of May, we can take a few minutes to honor Mary. We can come to our altar, bring a flower for the cross or for the vase, light the candle, then we can make the sign of the cross and pray a Hail Mary. Put one bead in the bowl, in the empty bowl, for each time somebody prays a Hail Mary. Don't forget, you can also ask Mary for any other special intentions too. By the end of the month, you'll see the second bowl all filled up with your prayers. After 10 Hail Marys, you can take this, the, the beads that are a little different and use that to pray in Our Father too. Okay, so let's practice in the name of the Father, Father and of the Son, Son and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Mother and the Son, and the, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Let's try it again. In the name of the Father, the Father and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And now we're going to end with a special song to Mary. And that's it for our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you got some good ideas and we wish you wonderful many, many graces during the month of May as you honor Mary in your homes. Thank you for joining. Bye.